Hello, welcome back. I am really happy that you choose to stay with me today on Hackitex Playground. Today I will show you very cool, absolutely epic thing, how to connect Burp Suit and SQL map together. What will happen if these two will stay together? So let's check it. Uh, let's go to portfigure.net and chat a little bit about Burp Suit. Burp Suit is a leading penetration testing tool for the web applications. There is no doubt about that. Everyone knows that everyone uses it in cybersecurity. If not, go to open your bakery or download this Burp Suit. So we have three options, enterprise, professional, or community. We will work with the community version because it's enough for our purposes. So get the community, just click on the get community, download the latest version. This is something what we will work with. Another tool which we will play with and the integration will be about these two, you know, they will have a little wedding together and we will see what will happen if they will have a baby together. Basically, SQL map is very known tool for SQL injection testing, penetration testing tool which help you automate the process of detecting the operating system, exploit, uh, sorry, operating system, the database and exploiting the SQL flaws in the known database engines. Here is the full support list and it is no big surprise that the support list is pretty, pretty vast. So that's something that you will not need for your work. I'm just telling you that this tool will be integral part of our testing inside of Burp Suite. Isn't that amazing? Yes, I know. That's not, not everything. For our exercise, you will need to download also Java Python and best way how to do it is to go jaden.org and download the standalone version. You have multiple options, the installer or standalone, standalone. That standalone version is better, you know, it's smaller. It's a basically executable file or jar, jar, uh, jar file, which is enough for our testing. And you will not need to install any other dependencies. So let's go to play a bit with that. Let's open the Burp Suit Community Edition, the version 2020.8, that, that's the one that I'm using. Choose a temporary project and go for next. Use the Burp Suit defaults, we don't need too much because it's not a full Burp Suit lesson. If you are interested in full Burp Suit lesson, don't hesitate to contact me. I'm doing trainings in this amazing tool. Start Burp Suit. When the Burp Suit is loaded, we will just need to set up first few things. Don't forget that the proxy is running on port 8080 on the local host, so don't forget to set up your proxy. I will disable the intercept for this, this part and the options you see here, 127.0.0.1.8080, basically localhost 8080 per host default, TL setup is running proxy for interception of the request from the web applications. That's something that you, you should for, uh, not forget to set up on your browser. Go to extender and you need to first set up the Java Python environment. You select the file that I showed you that you need to download, the Python standalone file, open that and don't forget to set up the Python environment. When you are done with this step, you should go to B App Store, where B App Store is basically a store with the Burp Suit application extensions, providing extending the features of this great tool. I already have here SQL map, uh, SQL Py extension, which is extension integrating Burp Suit with SQL map with some requirements. It embeds the extension and it automatically configures your SQL map and start the SQL map API server. It basically communicates through the API and provides really nice, not, not really nice, but useful graphical interface for people who are not really skilled in the CLI and you don't know all the parameters or you do not remember them, then the, the choice is for you. I will not reinstall that. I will just enable the extension here. Click on enable. Extension is loading. If everything is smooth, you should see these changes in the registers. Maybe I have some, some problems with the Python path, but it's still, still fine. And basically could not get the Python version. That's still okay, but SQL map basically started. And I can, I can verify it 
by seeing here the new tab with SQL Pi. I will close it. And basically the SQL map API is not running. I need to enable the API with by clicking on start API and it will start the API or port 1990 on localhost. What this great extension provides for us. Basically a nice graphical user interface with all the parameters that you need to set up in SQL map. SQL map logs gathering, we'll talk about that, and basically stopping and managing the scans. It's very simple, it's nothing super advanced, but you don't need to switch from one tool to another. You can take the, take the request from Burp Suit Interceptor or uh, from Intruder or Repeater, you just take it, and then you can modify slight details and, and that's, that's what you need. Very simple. And that's it. So for that, we will use Aconetics web server. Aconetics created a really cool web application testing portal for their tool, which provides some vulnerabilities. And I will show you how to basically utilize this connection between Burp Suite and SQL map together to get some interesting results on Aconetics web server. So let's, let's go forward. I paused the video to, to get a request for you just to not bother you with a nice GUI of the vulnerable application that was done for us by Aconetics. I just intercepted the request. I uh, set up on proxy interception set, uh, settings. You can say intercept is on or off. I set it on. That means that will intercept the request going between the client application and the web server. So I can take this request and send it to repeater. Repeater is the tool which can resend the request. I can do some slight modifications. I can send it to the server and I will get the, the response of the server. Very great tool, very good for debugging, very good for the pen testing. But that's not our goal today. We just want to send it to the SQL map scan. I will just click on send to SQL map scan. I can select the method. I can see the URL is preferred for us. It always add also refer, user agent, some custom headers. Uh, you can set up lots of interesting things like uh, test parameters if you want to specifically test some selected parameter like PID, for example. I, I want to test this parameter PID. The level of testing, the level of risk that you want to take and the things that you are basically interested in current user, listing the users, listing the passwords from the database, listing the privileges, knowing the current database, knowing the host name, if it is DBA, uh, list, list of the databases, list the roles, lots of really, 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 really great features. You can uh, also play with some threads, you can set up the delay, timeout, retry, the so time and second, lots of good set up for people who like to play and fine tune their penetration testing skills. If you know the backend that you are testing, because here I can set up OK, I know that this is my SQL engine and, and I want to get this or that. And if you know also if it is Linux, Linux or Windows operating system that you already get it from Nmap or any other pen testing tool, you can basically get it. So I will click on any to, to make some surprise. And if you need authentication, it offers basic digest and NTLM authentication for us out of the box. That's really great. So let's set up everything to make work smoothly. When we go to proxy, I see that the method is get. And in SQL Pi, I will set up the method get and run the scan. I will be interested in, for example, what, because I didn't select the current database, I am interested in the current database version and to knowing just the detail, the info, what is the database, I will not list the users or password, just to know some, some of the details. And start the scan. When I start the scan, it set up here some random number or random hash dash the link or the URL of the application that I'm testing in the list and then I can get the logs. And then you're getting the same logs and the same messages that you will see in your command line running SQL map directly from the CLI. What does this extension for us? You see that it starts SQL map pi and fill all the parameters for us. Basically the method, the user agent, the refer header, the delay, the timeout, the level, lots of these 
parameters that you will search in the documentation. Sometimes you can be lost as newbie in penetration testing. You will get what you need. So it is not refreshed automatically. So you don't see the real time output. You just need to get the information. You see here that the get parameter does not seem to be injectable. All the parameters appear to not to be injectable and I will need to increase the, the risk level or I will need to play a little bit more with, with the application. For this purpose, I will check the history. PID is not injectable. So I will do some small change. I will try a different request to, to inject it and to show you the output. So to check the, the this uh, to check this uh, injection ability, I will call different different part. I will choose another call, which is category of the pictures in the proxy. Intercept is off on, and I will go to target and send here to, 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 to command PID doesn't work for us artist. We can try this artist and send it to repeater. You see here that we have this get, send it to SQL map extension and start the scan. I will be interested in current database and start the scan. What it will do for us, it will start second scan to artist, for example, and the PID. The PID appears not injectable for us. We'll get some additional information. So that means that scan was not successful. In artist, I will get the new data. All the still parameters you provide are not present. Okay, and there is a small change that I will need to do. I will delete the PID, which was my mistake, and start the scan. Then it should appear the third scan with a different setup. Then I will get, and then you see here all the output from the SQL map. If you want to sp stop specific scan, for example, PID stop. It's already likely completed. It can stop specific scan. Uh, you don't see any dashboard which can help you to stop it, but it's still fine for for our our use case. So I will stop the the video now to show you the output after some minutes and after we will get some tangible results. After some time, we can play with the different parameters, but just I want to show you this one with artist. There is an SQL injection, but I modify slightly the test to not find it and to, to give you full results to see what it is doing step by step. What is what I forgot to say, and it is really good, is integration with the Burp Suite Pro. If you are having Burp Suite Pro, the results will appear in the scanner results. So basically, if you have access to your scanner, you will see that there is an SQL injection. With the, the community version, you will have some troubles because you will need to dig through this, uh, these logs and you will need to see if it reacts or not. But it's still good enough to play with that. You see all the injections tested, all the types of blind SQL injection, union selects. It's testing all of our very known SQL injection times. It already discovers that there is a MySQL based on the output of the errors. And it can also tell you what kind of operating system is there and all of these things. It uh, gets some false positive and uh, the, as I said, that if I will define correctly the parameters and the request, I will be able to do some injections, but I do not want to disclose any, any information even from the server. And it also can tell you that all the parameters that you selected appears not to be injectable. If you have still done as I, can, I have, you can increase the level and the risk options to perform more tests. So that's something what what you should also consider. Uh, I will not play with uh, the, the pro version because I do not have it currently installed, but still it is very simple. If you have scanner, if you have the scanner results, you will get it in your scanner results. And then you need to do some manual testing, you know, to, some dump, to do some dumping with, with, with SQL map or another tool. But this integration is still, still very, very good and it saves lots of time. Let's talk about some key takeaway. Download Burp and Titan, then install an SQL Py extension. 
uh, after you have this extension don't forget to intercept the request and send it to repeater then from repeater you can send it to sql pyscan and then don't forget some fine tuning thank you so much for watching i really encourage you to watch other videos from my youtube channel don't forget to subscribe and thank you again